Hi guys. Okay, so I had a few questions in regards to HPV related cancer, um, which is obviously what I have. Um, so HPV cancer, I don't know a lot about it. That's me being honest. Uh, so uh, you can get anal cancer. I know strands 18 and 16, I believe, are like the most common strands to give you cancer, the HPV 16 or 18 strand. Um, they can cause throat cancer, cervical cancer, um, anything in your vagina, vaginal, um, ovarian, um, anal cancer. Um, some of the funny things that I've heard throughout this two to three year process has been, you must like anal. So that's why I have anal cancer. Well, here friends, let me tell you. No, that's not actually how I got anal cancer. Imagine that. Also, I've heard that most people with throat cancer, it's because they, well, you can only imagine, but my uncle just had throat cancer and he's probably the straightest man I know. And I might be wild, but let's just be real here. That's not how I got you know, cancer. Um, so there's a lot of, uh, this is kind of like a hard combo to have with everybody because I really, like I said, I don't know a lot about it. But the reason why I don't know a lot isn't because I don't ask a lot of questions. It's because there's really not a lot of answers. There's not enough doctors that know enough to get the right answers. I don't even think the studies have gone back long enough to get the right answers. Um, I'm sure there's people on the HPV uh, group. There's the HPV Alliance. You can go online and check out them. They have quite a few things that they've looked into and they have, you know, quite a bit of studies and answers to questions that I genuinely cannot answer for you. However, um, I will give you some of the answers that I've gotten from doctors. Um, I have asked, cause I was told I needed to get vaccinated. Well, I had one doctor tell me why you already have it. Then I had another say, well, because you can get the vaccination till you're 45. But then I asked that doctor, if I already have it, is it gonna protect me from getting it again? And he's like, I don't know that answer. So there's that. Then I had a doctor, um, I asked that, what was the question? Oh yeah, I asked the doctor. Um, so if I have HPV, then does it transfer to your children when they're in your uterus? Like during pregnancy, can I transfer HPV to my children? Like through birth or you know how you can transfer diseases to children or whatever. Um, I haven't gotten an answer from anyone on that one. That's still up in the air question. I did, however, during this whole process, go get my children, well, three out of the four vaccinated. The fourth one's too young still, but um, I had them get vaccinated. Um, not a huge vaccination person. I definitely believe our bodies are a whole lot stronger than we give them credit for. I believe your food is your medicine. I believe, hell, I even believe in doing mushrooms. I, <laughs> I believe in a lot of things. Um, but I, I just, I had a hard time with the whole vaccinating my kids for HPV. I'll tell you why. So, I had, at the time when they were vaccinated, a 16, a 15, no, 15, 14, and 10 year old, I think. And got the 10 year old vaccinated, he needed two shots. 15 or 14 year old, he needed two shots. Six or 15 year old needed two shots. Sorry, there's a lot of kids here. Um, 15 year old got us two shots, 14 year old got a shot. And then when he went to go get a second shot, he wasn't scheduled till after his 15th birthday. 
And so they told me he needed to come back for a third shot because he turned 15 the week before. And I'm like, so the vaccination knows he turned 15? So he needs three shots now? That sounds crazy. And then, uh, but the older one only needed the two shots. And then the youngest, he just got the two shots. Um, so, I mean, like I said, I'm not a huge vaxxer. I'm not huge into like the what ifs. I, there's not enough information out there on HPV. That's the way I see it. I didn't even know about HPV until I was well over 30 with four kids. And I heard about it because I had a person in town telling me that, <laughs> this is kind of a funny story, but her husband gave her HPV because he cheated on her. I was like, oh, okay. So one of those, you go to the grocery store and ask how somebody is, and then you get their whole life story type of scenarios. I live in a small town. So anyways, um, so yeah. And then I was like, well, I don't even know what HPV is, but it can't be too crazy because she seems fine and she seemed to not be too bothered by it other than the fact that she's pissed at her husband. Rightfully so. But um, but yeah, as far as HPV, I honestly, I do not have a lot of answers. Um, I've never tested for anything. I test myself and my husband. We go to a doctor um, out of town and he's more of a naturalist doctor. And we go once a year and we get all our blood work done. I get everything checked out. I do all the testing. I, I even test for AIDS every year. My husband thinks this is funny and that I'm like paranoid, but there are things that lay dormant in your body and you never know. I had a really good time when I was younger. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I did, but I was smart. I was smart. So anyways, but no, I've always been tested since I became first sexually active. Um, I just always was on top of that. There were like free clinics so your parents didn't have to know. So I like definitely hit those places up to just make sure I was on the up and up all the time. Um, I want to give people things in life, just not things that they can't get rid of. Just saying. But um, so, yeah, apparently I have HPV, but never tested positive for it until I found out I had anal cancer and they said, this is from HPV. So even if you're told you don't have HPV, you probably have it. Because almost everybody's got it, from what I understand. And one doctor told me, if you've ever had a wart on your hands or your feet, you got HPV. And I'm like, so this has been around since the beginning of time. Because people throughout history have had warts. I mean, there's all kinds of shit on warts. But nothing on HPV. So, that's where I stand with HPV. I'm in limbo. I have no clue. It could be some Houdini shit some doctor made up and we're now we're all just paying for a vaccination and being told that's why we all have cancer when, like I've said before, it's probably our food. It's toxic. So anyway, that's my thoughts on HPV. If you guys have any info, it's probably more than my doctors have ever told me. Not my current sitch. They seem to be pretty honest about things. But, yeah, you probably have more info than I do. But, like I said, check HPV Alliance. Um, I wish I had their email or their um, website right now, but I don't know it off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure just type up HPV Alliance and it'll come up. I'm not sure if it's a .org, .com, whatever. But, anyways, check it out. Love you guys.